With vacation season in full effect, I have a question. Are you completely ready to leave everything behind and enjoy your vacation? Hey everyone, welcome back. This week I want to talk to you about a way that you can prepare yourself, your life, your website, everything to go on vacation and have the time of your life. It's always really stressful when you look at your calendar and you notice that in a few weeks you have some big event happening that's going to take you away from all the things that you normally do. You're not going to be able to keep up with your normal routine like you normally would and sometimes that can be very stressful. But don't you worry, I have just a few ideas to help you completely prepare for whatever's coming up on your calendar to leave you completely stress free. The first thing that you should do is always be looking at your calendar. Know what's happening in your world. Know what's coming up next. Know what's happening. Know when you're going to be busy. Know when things are not going to work in your normal life and prepare for those ahead of time. The second thing that you can do is to work in batches. Make sure that everything is ready to go by working in bulk. That means to try to prepare as much of the things that you do ahead of time. For me, whenever I know that I'm traveling, I try to write out a bunch of blog posts ahead of time, schedule some videos ahead of time, do all of my work in one sitting. That way things are ready to go even when I'm not available. The third thing that you should do is to just give yourself a break. Maybe if you're decided to go on a road trip throughout the United States for the summer, maybe take the summer off from blogging or writing or whatever. Don't lose your momentum, don't lose your focus, but it's okay to not maintain the same schedule that you were once on because you're trying to enjoy this part of your life. I personally think that it's okay to give yourself a little break and to rejuvenate, and who knows, maybe you'll be even more focused by the time you get back. The fourth thing that I have to offer to you is the ability to schedule things. You can schedule so much. You can schedule out your cleaning lady to come to your house ahead of time. You can schedule blog posts. You can also schedule email to go out. Did you know about that? Go ahead and Google that. How to pre-schedule your emails to go out on later dates. If you know that you need to send things ahead of time but you're going to be busy during that time, go ahead and pre-schedule all of those things. And let me tell you a secret. Nobody will know. It's like it just happened naturally. So there you have it. Those are my four tips for scheduling your life for when you know you're not going to be available so that you can enjoy what's happening right in front of you. Thank you so much for watching this week. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. If you would, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and sign up for my newsletter below. And I will see you next week.